Oh, Star Citizen. It's this super vast alpha MMO, and I've been playing it casually for the last several months now. <laughs> so like every time there's an update, there's so much more you can do, and it's a pretty cool world. Like. There's all kinds of missions I hear you can do. You can go ride on your spaceship. You can steal spaceships, be that space pirate you always wanted to be, yeah? And like, if you don't want to, you could also just do none of that. You can just run around, and that's what I like to do. That's kind of the best part, in my opinion. <laughs> There's so much stuff, and you can just discover things and meet new players, interact with NPCs even. It's a lot of fun. I wonder where the pool is. Sir, do you know where I can find the pool? In case we haven't met before, I'm not what you would call a hardcore gamer. I am personally working up to what I like to call pro-casual status level. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't really say I'm typical for the Star Citizen community, though. Like, it's because today, it's not just Star Citizen Day. It is soup day. We're cooking on stream today. I am still new at gaming. I've only been gaming for about eight months now. For example, like, I recently had to Google just to check what FPS meant. Oh, like, Mass Effect makes me, like, really sleepy, and I've never played Halo before. I'm kind of scared to try League, and I couldn't get past the first bit of Resident Evil 2. That being said, I have put in over 100 hours in Animal Crossing, you know, and I have played back in the day some of the Star Wars MMO. And, and, let it be known, I have won a crown or two in Fall Guys. So, yeah. The game definitely has a few bugs, and there's for sure feels like a learning curve for some of the different controls and whatnot. But the community has been like super helpful and it's super nice. You can find them on Discord and YouTube and different forums, they're everywhere. And they're like ready to zoom in and just help you out at a moment's notice. They're always there, so quick, it's like, like. With all that being said, can a casual gamer play Star Citizen? In my opinion, totally, absolutely, for sure. Yeah, I don't know about you, but as a casual gamer, I'm looking for something fun, relatively easy, and obviously casual. If I want to be more engaged in it, I can, but I can also just jump on for a few hours and jump off, and, and it's as easy as that. This might not be a pool for swimming. <gasps> oh! Oh, you... No! Where did it go? On YouTube and whatnot, I see people mainly focusing on like PvP in this game and missions and pirating, but I've played about 20 hours in this game so far, and I just recently did my first mission. It was like delivering a box from A to B. And besides that, I've just been running around. Running my first mission really felt like a real job when I think back on it. I mean, my coworkers, they seem to kind of have it out for me. They're a little suspicious looking. <laughs> Upper management wouldn't listen to me, and even at at the end of the day, I got paid. I got paid for a hard day's work. It was great. 3,000 buckaroos. There we go. First mission complete. There's just, there's just like a lot to explore. I've tried and failed to sneak up on a base with a dune buggy, and we just ended up getting like really dizzy and turned around and we never found it. You can test the limits on where you can land your spaceship, which has been a lot of fun. There's local delicacies that you can try, hot dogs, weird green cubed food. You can also participate in like community events, uh, different holidays, there was present collecting, of course. Whoa, there it is, look. There's a little person. Oh, crap. And, and how can I forget about murder? You can witness some murder. What happened? Is he still alive? The game has like a lot of human-like elements that keep you playing longer. And I think that's really cool and helps with the immersion. Some other MMOs, I just haven't really felt that connection to before, at least as a casual gamer. For example, I have like forgotten my helmet. I don't have my helmet on. Do I have a helmet? I don't have a helmet. <laughs> Oh, no. Or you have to like wait in line in a queue to get your ship. That's, I think that's really funny. It, I don't know, I think that's cute. It's very human. It's something you have to do, right? Or one time I went outside and I wasn't wearing the right clothes and like my character starts getting chilly and shaking and you can hear it in their breath and you can see it in the meter and you need to run back inside and put on better gear, right? So far, one of the main issues that I keep hearing from people and I'm seeing myself, of course, is the bugs, the bugs and the glitches. But personally, at this moment, 
those are like the highlight of my streams and i i never know what's gonna happen right it adds like an element of danger oh oh oh, 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 oh my god i didn't look up what is that our foot it looks awful they're usually like so surprising and shocking. It's just, it's too funny. You you can't anticipate these things. But I do hope, of course, of course I hope that the bugs will get fixed. And I mean, come on, it's not that bad. It's pretty funny. No. Oh no! What? No! No! <laughs> yeah, it, it can be pretty bad at times. CIG, please fix the bugs. <laughs> Everyone's dying over here. Literally, literally. <laughs> I can say is you know go into the game knowing that there'll be bugs like expect them and try not to take it too seriously right now it is an alpha it is it is and if you want to you know you can go report the problems or participate in online discussions you know with like the development community if the bugs are gonna drive you nuts you know you can go play a finished game go try a pokemon scarlet or or cyberpunk whatever floats your boat there seems to be a misconception about how expensive the game is they have spent a ton of money of course to like build it a absolute ton but you don't have to spend that much money to play it you can spend a thousand dollars if you want like the biggest space boat in all the galaxy but if you want you can spend like 40 45 bucks as well that's what i did i just got a cute little ship and that's all you need to set out on your journey when you play different missions i hear in the game you can earn in-game money and then you can buy a lot of this stuff that you also can buy online on the online website but if you would like to keep it you have to remember that with each wipe you lose the stuff you buy with in-game money but if you spend real money on something on the website you will keep it after every patch and wipe so there is a difference just keep that in mind star citizen can definitely be confusing i find it kind of confusing um, i recommend live streaming if you can or chatting with the community be it on like discord or different servers forums posting your videos on youtube the community is really really excited to post comments and help you out people are just so nice they really want you to have a good time playing the game as well for example the ship like trying to fly your spaceship if you don't know anything about flying and and i don't i don't know the first thing about flying and so when i turned on my little spaceship my cute little cutter uh, all this stuff popped up on the screen and i don't know what any of it means i just recently figured out that the, the, the numbers have to do with the angle that i'm flying and i couldn't find my fuel gauge for the longest time i didn't even know that that was a part of the game that you needed to fuel your little spaceship it makes sense but there's just things you don't think about when you're not a pilot or different different jobs so it can have for sure a learning curve in that. I found that navigating space can be pretty tricky too. I hear there's like a lot of guides and stuff on the Star Citizen website, but as a casual player, I don't know about you, but I'm personally not interested in looking through different resources for information, digging all over the place. I do hope maybe they consider adding like tool tips or optional tutorials. I don't want people to have to do tutorials. I don't want a new character every time and I have to relearn how to fly every single time. That'd be such a pain in the butt. I think it'd be really cute if they put like a paper manual in in your little ship's glove box and you have to like pull it out and flip through the index and look just like a like what cars have you know the really thick like 5,000 page booklets yeah that would be fun either way space has been like the trickiest thing for me so far there's a million things on the screen and 20 hours in and I still barely know what like any of them mean I I do not know what these acronyms mean in any of this space lingo and I cannot find a place to figure out what it is and again the community is like extremely dedicated and really helpful towards new players who want to get into star citizen i'm gonna assume already that most of the different things i've said i don't understand are probably already in this video's comments um so so maybe take a look if you have some of those same questions too i've yet to be hit with any like mechanics challenges that have stopped me from playing the game altogether if anything uh whenever i have a challenge i don't know i just kind of like give up on that and we're like okay we're just gonna do something else and then i end up on like a totally different adventure that i wasn't expecting and that surprise for me is a lot of fun i'm pretty excited to see what star citizen becomes in the future like i'm excited for these updates star citizen has a lot in common with other mmos classic mmos new mmos but i do feel that it is more like a virtual world than other mmos i have played it's the first one that's made me really think 
oh, I should get a VR headset, you know? Like, this would be cool to see in VR. I haven't particularly thought that for other MMOs before, but I want to do that for this one. I hear that there's some fun ability to be like a VTuber in Star Citizen, where you can use your webcam and it can track your mouth and your face and maybe even blinking too. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet, but I really want to. Oh, also, it's pretty cool, but the game also has more than just shopping for clothes. You can also get like engines and food and shit and plushies and all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. It feels a lot more precious than in other games because there's so many ways you can lose what you got. Of course, you could drop it by accident or it can be stolen. No, no. He took my... Open the door. He took my... You can put it in the wrong inventory. Oh, and it really sucks like if you die and you can't get back to your stuff. Did I die? What happened? What happened? You lose everything when you go back to the hospital. This sucks. There's just so much you can do in the game. It really seems like they want it to be like a second life. It has human elements that I don't see in other stuff. Are we missing a whole wing? Was there two of those? While some people find that annoying, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I don't really want to go into space in real life. It seems spooky, but now I'll do it this way. We won't have to be frozen in time. We, what are those call, things called? Like a cryo chamber? We won't have to wait for those to exist. We, we're, we're here now. Whenever this game finally finishes, hopefully, hopefully soon, hopefully one day, maybe we will need the cryo chamber. Now that I think about it, if this game will just be done already. So yeah, can a casual gamer play Star Citizen? Absolutely, totally, definitely. The UI can be challenging at times and there can be a learning curve to some of it, but I don't know, I wouldn't worry about it. The community is there to help you if you need it. And even if you can't figure something out, there's just so much to do. You don't have to do one of those missions forever. I don't know if you even ever need to do a mission at all. 20 hours in and I just did my first mission. You can just go and explore. It's great. I'm really bad at games and I haven't been gaming for very long and honestly I'm often really scared by like open world games. I will specifically look for games that aren't open world because you'll get stuck in a puzzle and then all the doors are locked. They, they say it's open world but every door is locked until you figure out that one thing and I can't figure it out and then I just turn the game off and I never play it again. But it doesn't feel like that here. Not at all. If I don't want to do it, I don't have to and I can go run somewhere else and have a whole new anything happening like really anything I never know what's gonna happen on stream and I just turn it on and we have an adventure very nice So maybe we'll see some more casual game players in the Star Citizen universe. And if anyone has any tips or tricks or maybe fun stories that they'd love to share with some casual players who might be watching this video, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to see them myself at least. Sounds like a lot of fun and maybe you guys can help me with some of my problems. Till then though, I will see you all later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hopefully, maybe I'll see you in the verse as well. Till then. See ya. Bye. Game definitely has a few bugs. And everything sounds like a weatherman. <laughs> Zen, I am Zen. So like every time there's an update, you see the great. Mm. So hard. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just need to read the fucking script. <laughs> Super vast MMO. MMO. Did I say alpha? I don't even know.